Millions of tourists visit Rome Italy each year. Knowing these few pointers will help you to navigate the bustling city of Rome. If you're also visiting for other reasons, these pointers will be essential to you as well. Let's go! Learn a bit of basic Italian language, words from greetings or emergency calls. For example, hello for Sada, gracias for thank you, el canto for the bill. These little and short words will help you navigate the city of Rome. Beware of pickpockets and scammers. Rome is a very busy city. Be very careful with your bags, wallet, phones, camera, and all sorts of valuables. Also beware of scams like people handling you over roses or offering to take free pictures for you and then ask for money in return. Time management. Best to go early or late at night to see the beautiful city of Rome. If you want to avoid crowded area, it's advisable to either go quite early in the morning, anytime before 8 a.m., or go quite late at night. This is to avoid crowd and for you to get that Instagrammable picture you've been wanting to. There are so many water fountains in Rome, so it's advisable you come with your water bottle. Or if you don't have one, there's no problem. You could as well sky, just like in this video. If this is your first time joining us, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Colin Jepu. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. A lot to see in Rome. Just decide where exactly you want to see. There are so many tourist centers in Rome, so it's advisable you make a list and work according to the time frame you have to spend in Rome. Choose the right dress for the weather. It's advisable to dress according to what time of the year and how the weather is currently in Rome. If it's too cold, you probably have to come with more of your jacket and thick words. And if it's a bit sunny, it is advisable you come with light clothes so you dress accordingly. Choose the right clothing if you're coming to visit any church functions or places like the Vatican City. This is very advisable because most places have rules and regulation before you can get in. So it's always advisable that you go through the rules online or probably ask your tour guides to take you through the rules so you dress accordingly before coming to the tourist center. Look before crossing the major roads in Rome because Rome can be a very busy city, especially when you're walking through the major roads. So it's very advisable that you obey the traffic lights Validating your train and bus ticket is very crucial on your trip in Rome. This is because you're, you're going to avoid delays on your trip time. You're going to avoid your trip being cancelled. And most importantly, you're going to avoid being fined. Yes, you get fined sometimes if you don't validate your ticket. Not booking your tours on time is very important and actually advisable for you to pre-book your ticket, especially when you're going to a very busy part of the city. Places like Colosseum, Vatican cities can be crowded with too many tourists coming around. So it's very advisable, like I said, to get your tickets pre-booked. Not meeting up with the book time can cause you to lose your time to visit other tourist places or to do other activities that you've planned on your to-do list, or it can cost you to lose money. So it's better safe to meet up with time. Hope you are able to learn one or two from these guidelines. I hope it's gonna help you plan your next trip. And I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to hear about your trip. Don't forget to write me and tell me how it's going. Stay safe.